Hello guys and welcome back by another first look. This time I'm looking at Ghost on the Shore. Another demo. Mm, it looks looks nice. No idea what it's about. So yeah, let's let's check it out, I guess. saw her coming. I'd forgotten all about humans. I didn't know how to talk to her. Yet it was all I wanted to do. This looks quite promising and... Okay. Okay, I can run. That's important in my opinion. Please, don't jump. Why? Well, because then I'd have no one to talk to. I'm sure you're used to it. I like it better this way. Still feels weird to me. You in my head. I think I might be losing my mind. You know I didn't mean to, right? I know. Come on. Let's just keep walking. This, I think this is just some kind of story game. Interesting. Cool. So, how long have you been here? On the islands. I wish I knew, but there's nothing. A big blank. Nothing. Then tell me about this place. Same thing. You must remember something. I know there were other people. You but don't remember what or who? I've been alone on the rogue islands for a long time. The rogues? I like the sound of that. I really think this is like a story exploring game. Josh. Yes? Oh, no, sorry, I was just saying your name out loud. Why? To see if I sound like a crazy person. A crazy person? I hope you don't think I'm crazy. Of course not. I'm happy I get to talk to you. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Why don't we start right there? Start with what? Start looking for you. We might find something about you in there. You want to find out more about me? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. And maybe it'll help me remember, right? Yeah, let's investigate the shit out of this. Can I not make a scribble of it? this this is like exploring he must have loved boats like um urban exploring i love it this is the book of terence the book of terence is that a secret bible i don't know about no nope. it's code for what for this is the cookbook of Terence who used to live here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Wow. Okay. This game is slightly a bit laggy. I think I like it here. The rogues are magnificent. I've seen nothing like it. Is that a weird thing to say? No, 
Not at all. I like it here too. You've seen many islands? No, not really. I was going to. You know, before the storm. Before you. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Burn, motherfucker. This is all old shit. Cordelia. I don't like that name. Discover the halls of ivy. This is literally a classroom. What's a willow wisp? Willow wisps are tiny fairies or fairy lights or spirits. You can see them floating in the night sky. Some people say they're dangerous. They are really, really beautiful. They glow and shine. Sometimes travelers will see them and follow them into quicksand, where they can follow them right will crash into the rocks. Rebecca from the grocery store saw them, but she did not follow them. She was too smart. Some people do not believe Rebecca, but I know she was really saw Will-O-Wisp. People also think Will-O-Wisp are bad. I can see why, if it lets you into oh, quicksand. That's not being very nice, but I think willow wisps are really the spirits of people who are missing. Or maybe they are ghosts, but I think they were once people. And they are trying to talk to the people they miss. If we could understand the willow wisp, why would we would know they are trying to tell us things, miss us, and they want to come home. I must say I am rather disappointed. I thought we decided fairy tales were not the subject of this essay. You assigned was to change an item. To choose an item from the environment of this island and to describe and analyze it scientifically. Imaginally, spirits are not science. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wait, why did I do it like that even though I could read it? Ugh. Walking with walking the rogues. The trekking. Okay. Not a book. Can I take it? I cannot take it. I want to go in there. Is there a way that I can go in there? Yes, there is. The Legend of the Willow Wisp. Devil's Pond. Well, what do we have here? A key. The poor thing is crying. Oh, yes, yes. Beatrice Parker. This must have been her office. This is gorgeous. I think I'm going to keep that. That's stealing, girl. It's not yours, even though it's abandoned. It's not yours. You cannot take anything from abandoned places. The crime family. Sounds familiar. Maybe you knew them.
Alright, let's see, can I open this? Wait, I got a key, right? Uh, I cannot try to put a key in there. Too bad, it would have been awesome though. So, the Crown family. Tell me about them. They lived in the lodge. The mum and daughter came every summer. The lodge? A big house somewhere by the water. Was it a beautiful house? It's the one you saw in the picture. Have you ever been? Oh god, what's that? What? That! Those are wisp, right? Is it? Is it going to turn into a horror game? Waiting for? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for this. I need to see what that is. I get that you're scared, but I really need you to go closer to see what it is. Oh God, oh God. Hi. You can't be. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why are you here? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be here. I'm just stuck. That's all. I don't understand. I don't understand either. And she's gone. Great. That was Beatrice. What did I do? Did I offend her? Where did she go? Looks like she didn't want to talk to you either. Never mind that. Who was that? Does she live here? Past tense. Because, you know, she's dead. Riley, chill out, please. I'm chilled. I've never seen her before. That's just weird. That's why we should talk to her again. I know it's the Beatrice from like the office. Why could why wasn't that an option for me to say? I mean it was a clue. It was literally was a clue. I mean the Beatrice name tag, Beatrice Parker in the office and that ghost thing was called Beatrice. How obvious can it freaking be? This is so unbelievably gorgeous. What? This beach. And the sea. It is beautiful. No, beautiful isn't a good word. It's breathtaking. It's wondrous. Awe inspiring. Monumental. You like words. I love words. Oh, wait. This is where that old woman lived. The tragedy. She lost her entire family to the fever. Husband. And all three girls. Oh, that's horrible. I'm so happy that you teach me to read and write. I'm writing a book. It's a lot of fun. I love stories. I read it to Fanny and Louisa. And I'm a teacher too now. I teach Feda to write his name. She's really good. Thank you, Hannah. Fairies of Fire by Hannah Little. Once upon a time was a fairy that lived on the island. Her wings were made of fire, so bright everybody could see them. One night a girl watched the fairy and put her in a jar. Because in the light... Huh? Alright, let's go to read. Uh, because in the night it got very dark in the island, the fairy cried a lot. And the tears filled the jar, so she was swimming in her tears. Oh Jesus, that's fucking disturbing. Yep, that was pretty as disturbing. Is this a football? Could be. And the fiddle. Music. There's so little of that on the islands these days.
This must ben. be the freakiest doll ever. Have a little respect. That is a beautiful doll. That was the whole freaking family, obviously, is it? Louise has a baby. Then we have Fanny and Hannah. All right, that was one house. Joshua. Yeah? That's nothing, I was just talking to myself. I don't mind. Joshua, is that your real name then? I guess so. Who called you Joshua? My dad. Your dad? You remember your dad? No. Yes, vaguely. You're remembering things, slowly, but still. Feels so quiet sometimes. That's not weird. There's no one else out here. There used to be people, right? And when there's people, there's animals. Cows, chickens. Sure. Terence had chickens. And I think there were sheep down here. And they've all gone? Maybe people took them when they left. Why did they leave? Maybe they didn't. If people left, we should find out why. Oh, I think Sally had a dog. Who's Sally? Oh, good question. A milkmaid, I think. Do you have a dog? Back home, I mean. God, no. I hate dogs. I want to go inside of this house. Let me in. Me. So you draw? All the time. It's what I love best. I thought you loved words. Pastels is what I really love. Pastels. I've heard about those. But I don't think I've ever seen a pastel drawing. Could you show me one? I don't have any with me. On the boat, I mean. The storm ruined them, I'm afraid. Rain got in through the broken window. But no worries. I'll get a new set when I get out of here. About that drawing we found. How about it? Do you think it's the same girl from the letter we found? We can't be sure. There's no name on the drawing. But it's a family picture. Don't you think? Mum, dad, little girl. Sure looked like it. She drew the dad above the blue waves. As if he walked over them. Do you think he died? No. It wasn't about heaven. It was about the water. He was standing on the waves. Or sailed across them? You're right. He must have been at sea. But we still don't know whether he was a sailorman, or just an arsehole that took off without looking back. Technically, we don't know that he didn't look back. You're defending him right now? No, I just want us to get the facts straight. What are those facts exactly, then? You can't jump to conclusions. About the dad? About any of it. I'm just trying to help. Just take it easy, okay? Why? Are you hiding something? You're enjoying this too much. Playing detective? I want to get you out you of here. You want headspace. And that requires me to play Nancy Drew. Who's Nancy? Oh, that voice of the, the just Josh dude is so fucking relaxed. Oh my god. No information in these houses. These are to destroy. Obviously, this. Wait, do you hear that? No, what? A child, she's coming this way. I don't hear anything. Why can't you hear it? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm scared. Oh. This is not supposed to be a horror game, right? But I'm fucking scared. Why am I this scared? I mean, I'm talking to ghosts. Oh, 
Oh, here are the sheep. They all died. So he's not saying anything about the dead sheep. It's pretty obvious. Josh, anyone, say something. They're dead sheep over here. I don't want to find a little girl that was laughing. It scared me. I want to go in here. This game is literally all about fucking exploring. Evanstone Farm. Evanstone's Farm. Nothing. Oh fuck, what's that? Footsteps. <laughs> Come on, honey. I want to drink this tea while it's still hot. Mom, did you know that Rebecca from the grocery store has seen a willow wisp? Has she? Have you ever seen one? No. Cheese or haddock sandwich? Cheese, please. Just maybe Daddy's turn into one. A, a willow wisp, I mean. Now you know that's not true. Daddy left. I know it's hard, but we have to accept it. Just maybe is all. I asked Miss Jessup about willow wisps, but she said they're poppycock. She said there are no such things as ghosts who drift along the marshes. And the sooner I let go of such romantic notions, the better. <laughs> well, she might be right about that one. Riley? Riley? Are you okay? What the hell just happened? Wow. In the end, or in the beginning, I was like, this is not for me. It's more story based than anything like that. But it really grasped. It, it's so like grasping you you want to know more you want to find out more you want to figure out more you want to keep on walking and keep on talking and get to know the story i'm so intrigued to know the rest of this though this is interesting but well for now thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked it and i hope i'll see you guys on the next one that we make bye bye